Jesus, please take us from this grandstand world. It's time we got into the game. I can hear the harmony. I can hear God's harmony or discords through the air. I can hear the tone of God or hear the static blare. I can feel the joy of God or dwell on my despair. I can see the love of God or irritations there. Reality can be my sea or puddles of illusion. Jesus is my inner guide away from mass confusion. I can concentrate on dams or on the flow of streams. Will I dwell on shadows or God's light that so careens? Thank you to Alexei Nov for the instrumental entitled Appeal to the Heavens, found at musicmevio.com. We were enjoying a weekend in the campground of a local park, Otter Creek. Throughout the summer, we were given a free campsite in exchange for holding Sunday services at the shelter. One evening, we sat in our RV, and Vic pulled out his guitar. He began to strum a little tune, and it caught my attention instantly. I could hear words to go with the tune. I grabbed a paper and pen and told him to keep playing that tune over and over as I wrote the words that were coming to me. I couldn't write them as fast as I was hearing them, and I needed him to keep repeating what he was doing. Just as I finished what I thought would be the first verse, I prepared to listen for lyrics to another verse. So I asked Vic to keep playing that tune, but instead he began to play another tune, seemingly unrelated. I felt a little irritated when he began to play a different strumming pattern, thinking it would mess me up. I started to ask him why he was doing that when the Holy Spirit prodded me. Keep writing. This is part of the song. He's hearing me. So I kept writing, hearing words that not only fit with the lyrics of the first tune, but matched in rhythm to the second tune Vic was playing. As different as the second set of strums and notes were from the first set, they went together beautifully to form one of my favorite worship songs, Intimate Mystery. Here it is. I lift my voice in song to worship you. There's nothing else, my God, I'd rather do. I love the wonder of touching my King, the joy of being close to you. Upraised and my heart humble so No longer faced by this world and its woes 
For in your presence there's a deep, deep peace. There's more to you than I can know. shall be the highest praise. All earth and heaven will bow to you. O Lamb of God, ancient of days. All earth and heaven will bow to you, O Lamb of God, Ancient of Days. Notifications. We can be notified by our smartphones every time a message from someone comes. You have a text message! Isn't that convenient? The third member of the Godhead, the Holy Spirit, is our connection with God. His voice is only as loud as our willingness to hear Him. Couldn't we consciously ask the Holy Spirit to notify us? Couldn't we pray diligently that we would hear Him? The Holy Spirit is our plumb line to God. The Holy Spirit knows God and all truth and is aware of our straying from the true path. He will guide us from our false beliefs into the truth personified in Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit is our communication with God, who wants only the best for us. Jesus brought down the Holy Spirit when he left this world, saying the Comforter wouldn't come unless he left. Another word for the Holy Spirit is the Comforter. We, residing on this ball of lessons, need the Comforter, whom Jesus sent, more than we know. We can't do this world without Him. Isn't it great that we are not just these physical bodies we temporarily dwell in? I praise God that this is so. We are each spirit, soul, and body. And the healing that I want goes far beyond the physical ailments I might have. I want to hear the Holy Spirit and heed what He says. I want a cleansing and healing of my entire being, which includes my soul and body. Since Jesus' residence in my heart, my spirit is already whole and perfect. Therefore, from now on, I want to fulfill my calling and, like my smartphone, receive notifications from the Holy Spirit. Will you join me in this desire? Jesus, please take us from this grandstand world. It's time we got into the game. We're so tired of this grandstand world where feelings never seem to change. 
Sometimes this world seems so unjust I think we'll find, I hope we'll find That through your mind the sidelines aren't for us